and we back and it's time to attempt the 0 82 to 82 or no challenge for what seems like the millionth time i am one of the few youtubers on the platform to have not complete this challenge last time we tried it i think the best we got was 78 wins i personally have never gone 82 and 0 whether it is an 0 82 challenge or just any challenge throughout the history even when i put the five greatest players in nba history on the same team we still found a way to lose so for me, this has always been an impossible challenge. Maybe today that all changes. We make a team so bad that they never win a game, then later down the line we make them so good that they never lose a game. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. I am, I am locked in, I'm ready to do this. Today's video is brought to you by SeatGeek. What I need from y'all is hit that link in the description, download SeatGeek and use code Kenny because they're giving you $20 off your first purchase on tickets. I know many of y'all know this, but SeatGeek is the easiest way to buy tickets to events, whether it be sporting events, concerts, or whatever, SeatGeek got it all. So in my opinion, a very underrated part of the SeatGeek app is this trending this week tab because you know you don't be really knowing what's going on around the city especially a city as big as chicago so i go through every once in a while and i see number six on this list frozen chicago i got some siblings i got some nieces and some nephews that would definitely love if i took them to the show oh yeah somebody getting them a nice christmas present let me give me a couple more tickets for all four of us you can see the layout of the theater that we're trying to go to and the tickets ain't even that bad. For us four, I can have us sitting up real nice. We got something like that. When we talk about bigger events like a Bulls game, I can click on one of these. The green obviously means good. Red means bad when it comes to getting the best deals for you. This seat right here, and I can see the view of what I'd be watching when I'm in the United Center. It's the perfect system. So like I mentioned, green means good deals. Red means less than good deals. So it's very easy and very straightforward for you to use. So hit that link in the description. Download the SeatGeek app and use code Kenny because they're giving you $20 off your first purchase. Purchase. do not want to miss out on this the first thing on the agenda is always to randomly select our team this is super important to today's challenge so i'm closing my eyes and i'm stopping in three and two and into one we're running with the milwaukee bucks okay they're coming off a championship and now we want them to be the greatest team of all time the milwaukee bucks will have the 14th overall pick i am trying to do my best to deconstruct this team to go 0 and 82 which means that with that 14th overall pick we're probably going to get a star level caliber player an all-star caliber player he will be traded for a ton of first round picks my goal is to get a lot of picks, use those picks in that first offseason to trade for players and trade for, for other things to help us out. I'm giving my... We got Kyrie, Brandon Ingram, Pat Connaughton is still here, and they gave us a ton of young pieces. Wow, that's crazy. Um, we get three seasons to make this happen. They gave us a young team, though, believe it or not. Um, but unfortunately, majority of... Or all these players have to get traded away because they're going to be... They're too good. Um, going 0 and 82, not that hard when you really think about it. Just put together a lineup with all 70 overall players. Um, and I'm not doing the hiding thing that I've done before. Now, I kind of made this agreement with myself last episode. So, like, if I really, really wanted to, I could be like, shh, Kyrie, he can't play for us. So now Patrick Williams is getting that start. And now Kyrie is a reserve. And the next year, boom, he's back. I'm not doing that. I have to go 0 and 82 with the best possible players. So, I'm going to go out there and try to find how we turn Kyrie Irving into a bunch of picks. So this is what I'm thinking. I trade Kyrie Irving for a player making a lot of money that doesn't have a high overall. Drew Holiday, not a bad case. He's only an 83 overall. But you know what? It's either I should probably go after like John Wall's contract or Russell Westbrook's contract. What is John Wall's overall? John Wall's overall right now is an 83. Okay. And we got to find Russell Westbrook who is an 82. Okay, so financially, we win this. You got to give us a pick. Oh my God, they're a good team. Never mind, they're a really good team. Their pick is valueless. And if I give them Kyrie Irving, they already got these two. So never mind, Russell Westbrook is not the guy we trade for because that team is a playoff team. All right, so this team's actually not that bad either if you look at the pick value. Um, but I'm okay with it if I can walk out with three first rounders and we do. I traded Kyrie Irving for three first round picks that might not be valuable, super valuable first round picks. That's that's tough. Might be okay, but they're willing to give me an unprotected pick in 2023. So we'll take that and it'll be topping. I don't know in what world they would do something like this, but thank you, Orlando. Thank you for the for the Christian Wood. And we're gonna use Christian Wood to get another pick. The picks are so valuable in a challenge like this. I cannot express to y'all how valuable those picks are when it comes to a challenge like this. I know it's just a one um, overall increase, but Brandon Ingram is back because I feel like if I package Brandon Ingram 
and one of the younger players, even like Kai Jones, who, you know, 20-year-old rookie, we might be able to get a super valuable first-round pick or just a good first-round pick. So I guess I'm getting Draymond Green in the 2023 unprotected pick. And we're going to continue to do this until I got a team that consists of nobody over like seven, let's say 75 is my max player. 75 is my max player, I think. Uh, even then, I feel like you can accidentally win a trade or two. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, not a trade, but a game or two if you're at a 75. So maybe I should go go lower than that. Kevin Love for unprotected an unprotected pick, so that's a W. Maybe I should go like this. Go to each team and be like, what you want for that for that pick right there? They're going to want to pick back, but they won't pack Honiton. Okay, sure. Give us that just made us worse. All right, so maybe I should be doing that. Uh, what about this year's pick for 2022? What you want for it? There's there's got to be a team out there that's willing to give me multiple first round picks for Kai Jones and Josh Giddy because these dudes were just first round picks a couple months ago. You got to think about it that way. They were just first round. Jamal Murray. Oh, that's nice. James Wiseman. Oh, that's nice. These are good. Whoo, hey. Hey, in another universe, I'm pulling the trigger on this trade, but that's not what this is about. We can get Jalen Brown in the first round pick. P. Willie, man, unfortunately, you got to go to Detroit, my boy. I would love to keep you on the team, but we got we got other plans right now. Okay, y'all, so I've made a ton, and I mean a ton of trades. And this is what I am thinking now. I want to keep some okay slash decent players, right? So I might make a trade right here for like Terrence Ross. Terrence Ross is 77 overall. But you remember that video from a few 2Ks ago where we found out the most important thing in the entire game of 2K, and I guess basketball, is the ability to rebound? Well, I'm hoping that I can put together a team that goes 80 or 0 and 82 because they can't rebound. So I get rid of everybody that can bore. But I want to keep Cam Reddish. I want to keep Matisse Thibault and these dudes because I have to make trades eventually. Like, let me, let me show you all of the picks that we ended up accumulating after all of this. Look at this. Look at this. You know, I want to use these picks to trade for superstars. So I need to keep some value on the roster. And Cam Reddish, come on, that's value. Chris Dorte, that's value. Matisse Thibault, that's value. So I'm hoping that us not being able to rebound and us all being guards for the most part, that'll be good enough for us to... Oh bad enough for us to lose is that is that the word i'm thinking about bad enough for us to lose so i'm gonna i'm gonna assign a few more players and i'm gonna flip those players hopefully for like sec even even second round picks i'm accepting right now you know what i'm saying you can never have too many picks in a challenge like this and i pray and i okay you're not gonna give me the, oh a first thank you whoo extra first for not doing nothing i'll take that and i just pray that we don't end up winning any games if we win a single game i'm gonna be so upset because i have to restart and I don't even know if you see this part if we win the game. Because why would I show you all of this and it fails, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. All right. So this is something we can do, though. And that is go sign um, like a Josh Hall. Or go sign our guy Quinn Derry Weatherspoon, who just got a contract in real life because of all the virus stuff that's going on in the NBA. So welcome back to the league. And then we going to, we're going to... Make it a 13-man ro uh, rotation so even the worst players on the team get a minutes, right? And then Coach Bud, NBA champion coach, you're getting fired. I'm doing everything in my power to, to become the worst coach of all time or the worst team of all time. So, like, big man coach? Oh, no, no, no. Big man coach, Daniels, do you want a job as a head coach? He never in a million years thought he was going to get this opportunity to coach an NBA team. He thought his whole career was going to be him with him and Vin Baker coaching the big fellas. Nope, Mr. Mr. Eldon Daniel. You have one job, and that is to be the worst team of all time. And they put up 100 points. That's way too many points. I'm afraid that they're going to end up winning some games. So I'm going to do more trades. I need, I need this team... Even a, any dude that can, like, get a bucket. Terrence Ross can accidentally win you a game. Bro, bro be having 40 pieces every once in a while. So, Terrence, you got you got to go to another team that can actually use your powers, and we're going to bring in somebody else. I don't know if I reminded y'all just yet in this video, but leave a like on the video. It helps the channel out a ton. I'm going to go out there and get uh, Cameron Payne, who is a good player in itself, but I'm not expecting Cameron Payne to give 40 points in a game like Terrence Ross could do. Okay, I'm bringing in Robert Covington. I'm throwing him a second-round pick, but we got another first. And then, even because Robert Covington, once upon a time in his career, ran center. So I know he can rebound at least a little bit. Um, he is getting flipped for a guard. And then I feel, I feel 86% 
sure that we can go out there and uh, go and lose every game. I'm just going to release him. There's no trade there that made sense for us. All right. Send the season, y'all. Whoo! Oh, we had 60 points in the game. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we were successful. All of that. I was on pins and needles those last two or three games, but we ended up doing an 0 and 82. And then Luke Walton, go to the air. He's gone in real life, as far as as a coach. Um, so let's go ahead and get over this playoff stuff. None of this matters to us. Hopefully we end up winning the lottery. The one seed got eliminated by the 12 or the eight seed. And the Knicks end up winning the championship with actually Julius Randle. The Knicks heads. Oh, we helped build this team. I thought it was Trey. Oh, my God. We help, This team has a... That's a squad. Kyrie, Jimmy, Colin Sexton, Thaddeus Young, and Julius Randle. Redemption Tour. That's a squad. Alice Caruso? That's a squad. Okay, shout out to the Knicks. You're welcome for that. But now that just means that the picks that we traded Kyrie for mean nothing. Go winless, win the lottery. Go winless, win the lottery. And we do not win the lottery. Actually, our pick dropped. It was one of the other picks that came up. That's fine, I guess. We got four picks. Look at the... the we traded Kyrie for the 30th overall pick. Oh, we got decision. Oh, no, no, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. This guy has 18 badges versus a six. Or, I'm sorry, seven. This guy's a higher overall... The center, Elton Brand versus Hall of Fame or Gary Payton as a floor. I think we have to go with Fa Fa Fabricio R Rod R Rivera. I think, let me pronounce my boy name right. Because if you're going to be the star of my 82 and 0 team, I need to know how to pronounce your name. And I was right. So I need to stop questioning myself. So I think we're taking him with the first overall pick. And I'm telling I'm telling y'all I have the first overall pick because I'm going to go trade for it. But I want that first overall pick. I will give you, we had the second overall Actually, no. I want to keep the second. Give me a counter offer. Okay. I want to keep the second. Because that means I can get that big man and the guard. And he got to make a decision. They're both there. I'll trade you all the picks. The Kyrie Irving pick too. Boom. First pick. Second pick. It is done. Deed is done. Um, Rod R Riviera. And I didn't even get the second dude's name. But welcome to the team. <gasps> Did I simulate past the draft? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I legit just thought I did not. Okay, so they made the right decisions. What why did it just go through everything? Did I simulate this far? Was I bugging? But we have Kyrie who only's got one offer, and that is from the Knicks. I will bring Kyrie back. Give him a, a good deal. If he wants to come, he can come to the team. Kyrie Irving wants to come back. That's great. We're probably going to trade you, my boy. I, I didn't tell you that in the meetings you know, and everything. Yeah. All right, let's go on and, and use some of these other picks, and let's try to put together a god squad. Bro, Kyrie is really not getting no, like, really good, good trades. I'm actually surprised, bro. Like, this trade doesn't make sense because Kyrie has more value, and he's a better overall. Like, we could get younger, but that don't mean nothing if the value's not there. None of these trades are giving me the value that I expected for Kyrie Irving. So I think that we might have to bite the bullet. Like, we could do a trade like this, but that's giving up one of our picks. I think we have, might have to bite the bullet and do a trade like this. Where, like, the overalls are similar enough that we're not losing the... T okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. Trade exception if you have to. Y'all can have that. Oh, that sucks. That that hurts my soul to do, but we had we had to. I decided that doing the trades right now don't make the most sense. So I will sign some people in free agency and come back during the season to potentially make trades. Um, you, I'm actually super surprised that we weren't able to find the big deal. I was I was looking for the splat ash, the the super big deal, and maybe that happens once the season starts. Because we're going to see some teams that might be selling or rebuilding. Or, you know, a lot of things can happen. The offseason is super, super bugged right now. But we are at it. Look, what the? You, you see what I mean? The game is bugged. We were just in the offseason. And now we're, they were simulating games for us. What the heck is happening in this simulation? 2K, you got to be bad. Why are people upset? Okay, all right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's time. It's time for me to make some trades. Because I, I don't know what's happening, 2K. I didn't, pre I didn't do anything different than what I normally do in a YouTube video. Okay, so I decided to not make a trade before the season. 
or before the season started, just simulate it, as you see with the worst team in the league, which is good for us because that means our pick has value. And, you know, I did a little bit of scouting. I'm like, hmm, should we trade our this year's pick? The answer? Yeah. The, the This draft class don't have superstar caliber talent. So, I mean, maybe. Maybe. But, but this is a three-year challenge. I already got two rookies on the team already, and you're asking how they doing. I, I couldn't answer. I don't know. I have not checked it. 13 points per game for him. And then the center is averaging good numbers. I have some players on my list that I want to trade for. The worst team other than us in the conference were the Celtics, if I'm not mistaken. They have Kevin Durant, and they are a rebuilding team. I'm feeling good. As the worst team in the league, we have a four-star value pick. They are the Celtics. Um, we need to give them DeMontis a bonus. We need to give them Duncan Robinson. And we have a deal. Four-star value first-round pick. Enjoy the scrub. Watch them not win the lottery because, well, we're going to take off a little bit because uh, Kevin Durant is now on the team. So we got KD. He's only got two years left on his contract, right? And he, oh, okay, he's got a player option too. But he might have like just plateaued or starting to get worse at 29 years old. So he's a guy to keep in the back of the mind on a selling team. But like, ah, uh, you know, Zion is on a selling team. Spiring contract. They got some big contracts though. John Wall, Karis LeVert, Mikael Bridges. Those are all big contracts. Okay, so we got a few people that we could potentially go look at. I'm going to go to the Orlando Magic first because they have um, Zion and I would be able to re-sign Zion with this team. I guess Darius Garland is my trade piece here. I like DG a lot, obviously, but we already have another point guard in, in, you know, in the works and that is our guy uh, Riviera. So I don't need another PG, even though Riviera is 6'7", so I guess he can rush through the guard. I mean, I don't think we'd be able, we are able to pull off a Zion trade without giving up DG. So I, I have to do what I got to do. So I'll give you a pick. Where's our pick for next year? Two and a half star. Okay. Um, The Pistons? Oh, three star. Yes. Okay. 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 Three first round picks. The Pistons being one of them. And now we have Zion and Kevin Durant on the same team. And then we have... Riviera and then we have RJ Morris so I don't I don't know if they're both gonna be stars but it look like they might be stars okay 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 let's continue to build on this um reddish Connaughton and then the Knicks are are good they're really good so their pick means nothing yeah one and a half star pick yeah that's nothing um we can bring in Tyler Hero but I want to get a player that we don't have to re-sign because we're going to have to re-sign some other people already. Let's get Lonzo. We've had simulations where Lonzo wins MVP. So let's go ahead and bring Lonzo to the team. Riviera, you're actually going to move over to the, sh the shooting guard now. And he stays the same. And now he's an offensive threat. You'd love to see that. And I think we're done for this season. Oh, no, no. We have to trade Matisse because we don't have the money. We won't have the money to re-sign Matisse. So Matisse has to get traded away with um josh hall who's making an absurd amount of money for a dude that's not even 70 overall and then we throw one of the picks the thunder pick i guess i don't know all these picks don't none of these picks mean anything this pick means a lot three star value pick and giving us a Zante murray we're gonna take that and we're running I, I it doesn't matter it literally doesn't matter we have talent we're gonna have to flip some of these players down the line anyway this is not a one-year challenge we are not the worst team in basketball any any longer. And I'll see y'all in the offseason of year number year number one of us trying to be good. All right, so we still were the worst. <laughs> we still were the worst team in the league. That's fine. That's okay. We traded a potential first overall pick for Kevin Durant. I think most people would do that. Let's see if they win the lottery with our pick. Um, wait, where's our pick? Oh, it ended up being six odds? Wait, six percent, eight odds. This game is so broken. It says we're the worst team in the conference, right? Did y'all see that? We're the worst team in the conference. Oh, but there are so many teams on the west side that suck. We're the worst team in our conference, but we would have been in the playoffs in, in the east. We would have been in a play in in the eastern conference, but we are the worst out west. That's a little bit scary. This is the conference we got to play a bunch when we try to go 82-0. All right, um... Oh, Coach Bud is back as a coach. I did not even do that. That just happened organically. All right, player progression. Please let my, my players start to blossom. Up by five. Up by one. RJ Morris, you going up by just one means that you're getting traded. I'm being honest with you. Um, This guy's blossoming to a star. We're going to have a three-headed monster of 90-plus overall, or maybe four-headed monster, DeJounte Murray, of 90-plus overall players. You just don't fit the bill, and you have to you have to get moved on. This is, this is a... Super strategic, strict thing that we're doing here, right? 
and you need to be better if you want to be on this team. And unfortunately, you didn't get better. All right, so we have DeJounte or Lonzo as trade pieces, both crazy value. We have Morris, and then hopefully some of these picks are one and a half star. Some of these picks have to be valued, but two star, the Knicks aren't as good this year, I guess. Suns, two and a half star, two star from Detroit. Okay, so I have found the type of player that I need to go after. Um, Jokic. Anybody that's a max player but not making 40 million is a person that we can go after. 40 million above, we don't have the money to make match. So it has to be like Jokic, it has to be Tatum, um, LaMelo, but we'd have to resign him. Ja, you know, players like that. Um, even, even Luka technically makes the cut. I think first we go after Jokic because he's the big, big baller over here. He's the highest overall in the entire game right now. It's unlikely that we end up getting him, but I feel like if I didn't try, then I'd be doing myself a disservice. I will give you DeJounte. I give you Morris. We got to make up two million more. Okay. Then I'll give you Garrison Matthews. Financially, that makes sense. You give us back, not Kay Cunningham, but you give us back your worst player or least expensive player. All right. Um, we said the Suns pick was decent. The Bucks pick, two star, Pistons. Yeah, this is the best. That's basically the best we got. Spurs. Yeah, they're all gonna be two star. So Jokic off the table. All right, I'm trading for DeAndre Aiden, and that means I'm trading Morris away for a guard or just somebody that's not um not a center because we have 390 overalls now, and then one in the ranks coming up. Um, this is about to be a tough. It's going to be a struggle. We still got a million picks left and I still haven't found out exactly what the heck we're doing. All right, we're trading for Scotty Barnes, who is not done growing. He's going to be a 90 overall player. We're going to have four 90 overall plays, maybe five if Lonzo ends up getting it back together. Um, so we're doing okay. We have one more season after this to make, make, uh, things happen. So like all of these picks that we have right now, we have to use to some capacity. Traded for Bones Highland and Gary Trent. Trade for Davion Mitchell, who's up to an 85. I mean, we might have to just do it with depth, y'all. We might just have to do it with depth. This season is not a year that we're... I think we're a championship team. We're not an A to an O team. We might even lose one of our first games of the, of the season. Okay, boys. Hold on. Maybe this is the year. Go ahead, manually fix... Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. What is our rotation looking like? How many players are playing? See? Yep. Yeah, see? See? That's because I did the year number one. I'm so happy I, I looked. Run a nine, man, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's better. Okay. This makes me feel good about this, this next season. I know we're not going 82-0 this season. I just know it. So we start, we're still undefeated. And there we go. See, I knew it wasn't happening this year, but it makes me feel good that we started off like 20 something to know. This means that we have the framework to potentially do something next year. We got to bring back Riviera, bring back Scotty. I really want this man on my team, bro. I really want him on my team. He is dominating the entire league. So Bones Highland, we traded him away, didn't we? I think we traded him away, and he ended up winning six man of the year. So that's interesting. Um, we lost four games, y'all. This roster lost just four games, which makes me feel so great because majority of these players are still here next season. Now, we do have to re-sign re Riviera, Scotty Barnes. They're all up to 90s. We have a five-man 90 overall team. I mean, there's, a, there's actually a decent amount of play, players that we have to re-sign. I'm not worried about that right now. I think that we're going to be able to do it because I there's no real reason for me to think about it. But I just, I think we will. I don't understand how the cap works, but I just feel like if you're on my team, I have an opportunity to bring you back. <laughs> that's just what I'm thinking in my mind. So let's hope that that's true. Okay, so they all had qualifying offers except for Lonzo. And I'm just going to re-sign Lonzo. <laughs> so this is perfect. Lonzo, welcome back to the team, my boy. Okay. All right, so I feel I feel really good now. I'm excited about this. Let's get this going, man. This is the last possible season. I still got a ton of picks. Riviera is a dog. He's got 52 badges. 53. 53. That's a three, not a two. Um, I feel really, really good. I don't think we have so many picks left that we can still shuffle the deck a little bit and get more players that fit what we want to do. Okay, so starting lineup looks like this. It's elite. It's really elite. We even got it that I didn't even realize that Scotty Barnes was coming off the bench. That's that's crazy. So we're really good. But we can maybe get even better. We got Lonzo on 27 million. We got um Gary Trent on 19 million. We got a ton of picks. Tell me that ain't I mean Trey Finder's not gonna have it, but tell me that ain't good enough to potentially stack up on a, a better point guard. You know what I'm saying? That that's got we gotta figure out who that point guard prospect or point guard player is. What if it's him? 
No, it's not. We don't have that good. No, I'm, just, I'm joking. Uh, but like Shea, that's an increase in overall. Shea, might, that feels like it might be easy to even do. So I guess we go to the Trailblazers who have Shea. And that one might be m more realistic. We got to make up seven mil. Oh, we can't. Oh, no, we got Moses Brown. So financially, that makes sense. Um, Give you the pick. Give you two picks. Give you three picks. No, not top three protect. You can just have the pick. Give you three picks. Give you four picks. Lonzo's not nearly as valuable as I want him to be, I guess. I'm trading Lonzo for Anthony Davis. And then we're trading Anthony Davis for... Um, for Shea, maybe. They are not interested until we throw picks. Two picks. Three picks. Four picks. Five first round picks. And Anthony Davis to get Shea Gilles Alexander. It's one overall increase, ladies and gentlemen. It's just one. All right, so we did that. Worst trade, worst possible trade of the video, but it hopefully it helps us get to 82 and all now i mean okay we have a, a elite seven to eight man rotation let's say eight man rotation gary trent can get upgraded with the last couple picks we have hopefully that's what i'm thinking he can get upgraded with the last couple picks we have and i think we just go right into simulation bro i think we go right into simulation um gary trent a pick hopefully get us something jalen suggs a higher overall he's at an 87 i don't even know if we needed another guard but we got a guard um, we actually didn't need another guard. We don't have a backup center. Um, so Jalen Suggs might get flipped for a backup center. I'm sorry, Jalen. You're the homie and everything, but I think we need center play more than anything. Jared Allen. Okay, we traded Baisley in that too, but he wasn't in the rotation. We have an eight-man rotation of Shea Gilgis alexander Fabricio Riviera, 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 Kevin Durant. Zion, DeAndre Aiden, Scotty Barnes, Jared Allen, Davion Mitchell. Eight man. Don't need nobody else on the team to ever touch the floor. It's irrelevant to me. It's irrelevant to me. It's irrelevant to me. 82 and 0. I, I legit think that this is the best roster, and I am not exaggerating, the best roster we have ever created in an 80. Giannis it always comes back to Giannis you should be on my team he shot one for 10 from three and we still lost to him oh my god man <laughs> you cannot make that up bro this is the best roster I think I've ever orchestrated in a video and you're telling me if we go 81 and 1 that's that's the worst possible outcome. 81 and 1 would be worse than anything ever. And we are just dominating. I'm so upset. <laughs> We're on pace to go 81 and 1. 81 and 1. The Bucks. No, no, no. It was the 76ers. They're not even a playoff team. They're not even a playoff team. And we lost to that. So, I, we did what we could. That's all I can really say. We did what we could. Um, how do we have one All-NBA first team player? One? One All-NBA Okay, there's two more. Okay, Kevin Durant didn't make it, apparently. Kevin Durant was the weakest link in the start of five. Oh, man. So, we did what we could. Um, final record, 80 and 2. 80 and 2. We lost to the Bulls in the last week of the season. And I just I've I've tried my hardest to complete this challenge. I feel like I'm the only YouTuber out here that attempts these type of things that hasn't got it done. But here I am. Patiently waiting for the day that we can go 82 and 0 in a video. Hey man, if you did enjoy this, I always be sure to leave it a like. Just let me know in the comment section if you have successfully gone 82 and 0. And if you have, give me tips and pointers because obviously I'm doing something wrong. I'll see y'all tomorrow though. Peace.